Hi, how are you doing? Appreciate it. Thank Just, you very much. Uh, maybe a thought on um, some, some things that you think you might be able to impact and what your approach is to, to the challenge. Well, you know, coming back from having a, a quarterback background, I think hopefully that, uh, you know, I can definitely get through to the quarterbacks with my play call and uh, help them with execution on the field. Um, you know, if I, if I decide to go up top and be in the box, then, um, you know, I can, I can be their eyes and ears from the sky as opposed to just being on the sideline. And have you decided where, where you'll be? As of right now, I'm leaning to go upstairs, and, and that way, you know, I can be more comfortable, see things from uh, the all 24 as opposed to the view that I get on the sideline right now. What has been the biggest challenge for Taylor? Uh, like Coach kind of touched on, I think it's just more of confidence. You know, when you get hit a few times in a game, uh, you can tend to get a little rattled sometimes. And we got to remember, Taylor's still a young quarterback, right? Like, he hasn't been here and been playing in this league for a very long time. So he's very young. Uh, and like Coach said, we're not just throwing him out the door. Um, uh, he's working on his confidence issues and, and things that he knows that he needs to get better at. And uh, we're going to continue to work with him. And uh, hopefully, you know, one day he, he may be back in that starting role. Well, just like I mentioned before, um, you know, we have to definitely call things that suit to the quarterback, uh, as well as potentially, um, you know, pushing the ball down the field a little bit more, giving our guys that can stretch the field opportunities. Um, you know, it's hard to go uh, 18, 12 to 18 play drives in this league. Uh, you know, we don't have Ricky Gray here. We don't have Mike Riley here. We have the guys that we have. So we have to do things that, that, that suit uh, their strong points and, and brings out uh, their capabilities as playing quarterbacks. Uh, it's going to be uh, Daigie and uh, Trey Ford taking snaps, as well as Taylor still gets some snaps. But, uh, you know, Coach and I talked at length last night about this, and, um, you know, it's just time for a change. It's time for, you know, one of those guys to hopefully grab the bull by the horns and take this. And uh, like I mentioned before, that, you know, all three, Taylor's gonna, still going to be very supportive of those guys and, uh, you know, the best man to win the job. What's your read on Trey and where he's at? You know, if, he, if he's close, if he's ready, well, he's young. Same thing. He's young. I, I know he won't be perfect. You know, he'll make mistakes as well. But, you know, the one attribute that he does have and that he does do well is run with the football. So, um, you know, when things aren't there or if the pocket's breaking down, uh, you, you know, that kid has world class speed, in my opinion. So, uh, from that standpoint, I know he'll be uh, more apt to use his legs when he can. Is there a style you think you'd like to, not that you're going to give it away to us, but mm -hmm. the way you think the game should be called? Well, well, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to call the game more to the quarterbacks. Uh, abilities, um, you know, try to get KB more involved, Kevin Brown more involved, um, you know, Dylan Mitchell, um, you know, um, uh, you know, just all the guys, all the guys that I feel that are going to help us uh, win and, and, you know, that need to have the ball in their hand in order for us to be successful offensively. How do you get the morale of this team offensively into the right place? Because it has to be tough what, you, what you've endured here. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we're just constantly uh, giving those guys positivity. Um, you know, last week we had a great week of preparation. Like, you would not think that we're an 0-8 team the way we approach it week in and week out. Um, you know, these guys, uh, you know, I think they're so young, they don't know any different, right? So they're just waiting to get a win. I think we get that one win. I think it'll spark us in the right direction. You've been working close with Stephen McAdoo. How has he taken this change? Um, you know, it's, it's always difficult to take this change. Uh, you know, Steve's a dear friend of mine. And, uh, I know he'll be very supportive of me. Um, you know, he, he understands that this is a business and things happen. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, uh, you know, he's very supportive. He's got to be as disappointed as anything. It, exactly right. He's just disappointed in anything. He's been, put, he's been putting the work in. He's put his best foot forward. And, and, you know, it's unfortunate that we're in the position that we're in. But we must move forward from here. What are the challenges about doing this mid-season when they've been trying to do things in one way and learning all that? Well, but just the change in general, right? Sometimes it's hard with the change, but I think our guys will be very receptive to it. Uh, we're not just going to, you know, do an, a complete overall in the whole entire offense, right? Uh, I think we'll still uh, do the things that we do well. And just like I just, you know, touched on earlier, you know, I'll try to do things well um, that suit the quarterback that's in the game. Thanks, Good. No problem. Yep, no problem.